32 minutes after the hour, now President's Day, a time to honor our nation's leaders. But could the federal holiday be next on cancel culture's hit list? John Cribb, the author of the book Old Abe, thinks so, sharing his concerns in a Fox News op-ed. Thanks for joining us this morning. Thank you for having me, Ashley. I appreciate it. Happy President's Day. You as well. And getting right down to it, do you think President's Day is next on the list for cancel culture? Well, I hope I hope not. But, you know, who knows? We've seen uh, statues of presidents defaced and taken down around the country and their names taken off of schools. And in some places they're being, you know, de-emphasized in the school curricula. So uh, who knows? Yeah. To that point, John, how has this rewriting of commonly accepted history been allowed to foment in our schools? Well, it's been going on for a, a while now. It's been creeping up on us. It's you know started in higher education. It's moved down into K-12 uh, schools, and it's a bad idea uh, because it's uh, it's you know it's it's an attack on America. It's an attack on American history. Uh, you know, there's been a lot of talk about the assault on the Capitol uh, the last few days, which right. was a bad thing. It was a national shame, uh, but this is a shame too because it's going to teach uh, school children and others. Uh, to despise their own country. And uh, no country that hates itself can last very long. And we've even beginning to get some pushback from this, you know, overseas, the French recently, the, you know, France, who gave us the Marquis de Lafayette and helped us win the Revolutionary War. They've recently spoke up, some leading politicians and thinkers, and said, you know, America, stop this. This is a, a bad idea. And by the way, don't export it across the Atlantic to our country. We don't, we don't want it here. So Americans need to stand up to this and, and put a stop to it. Meantime, speaking of schools, as someone who wrote a book about Abe Lincoln, you say it's vital to push back against thinking like this next individual. His name is Charles Blow, and he issued the following in a New York Times op-ed. Slave owners should not be honored with monuments in public spaces. We have museums for that, which also provide better context. This is not an erasure of history, but rather a better appreciation of the horrible truth of it. Look, nobody's going to say that these guys were perfect. They all erred. They erred gravely. But what would Lincoln think of a comment like that from Mr. Blow? Well, I don't think that he would uh, think very much of it. You know, Lincoln uh, spoke uh, in his first inaugural address of the mystic cords of memory that hold this country together. And uh, these old presidents, these old heroes like Washington and Jefferson and Lincoln and others, they're an important part of those mystic cords. They help unite us. Uh, they're part of a glue that holds us together, like a common currency or a common language. And if we cancel them out, we throw them overboard, then uh, we, we may not have much of a country left if we can't have any heroes in common. And then really quickly, John, about 20 seconds, why is tearing down these statues, why is this such a bad idea? Well, it's a bad idea because remembering these heroes uh, helps us understand the principles and ideals that um, underlie our country. And it helps us remember how hard it was to win them and how hard it's been to preserve them over the years. And it helps each generation remember what a unique and extraordinary place this country is and, and to be grateful uh, for living here and that it's our duty and responsibility to uphold these freedoms and rights and pass them on to the next generation. John Cribb, happy President's Day to you, sir. We appreciate you coming on and talking to us about presidents and their importance. Same Appreciate to you. It. Thanks for having me on. Okay. Thanks, John.